All right, I'm getting an error code 72. This uh, involves the switch cluster. It is telling me that the C switch is expected but not found. The C switch, I'm going to light it up right here, should be the one in the upper part. That is going to be our C. Uh, I'm going to cycle it and run it. We're going to just see if it happens again to me first before I just start digging into everything. Could be perfectly fine, just could have been a glitch in the system. Alright, so I, I ran it again and uh, nothing really happened. It didn't even raise or lower the table, so that leads me to probably check into another area. I'm going to take a look around before I start digging on that C-switch. Alright, this is a new one for myself and for everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know what I've found out so far. The C-switch was uh, expected but not found only because there was no rotation in this so I can get it right here in this shaft. I'm highlighting it at the bottom of your screen. That shaft was not rotating. With that not rotating, it's on a big uh, chain drive wheel, which goes back to the front table motor. When I looked at the table motor's pulley here, the pulley, as you can see it, it's coming off the shaft. So uh, something has obviously came free out of it. It looks like my... Uh, like my rolled pin that holds it in there is expanded more than normal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to check this the rest of the way out. Alright, so as I said earlier, or maybe I haven't let you know yet, but uh, I found on this pulley wheel right here that, that uh, the way that I got my system on had sheared off and that this pulley wheel had actually walked off of the shaft it's on, so it's free spinning. The table itself is right now resting on the stroke limiter, as you can tell. Put it down a little better. See the cross T right there? It's resting right on the stroke limiter. So I, so I am able at this point to take off this belt. Uh, if, it, if the table was up in the air, you would not want to remove that belt. This table motor is the only thing that is a brake holding the table up in the air. And it'd probably drop down rapidly and slam into the stroke limiter. Or maybe if for a reason your stroke limiter would be out of the way, it would go all the way to the bottom and that's just not good. So I'm going to set you up to watch this and I'm going to go ahead and pull the belt off so I can free spin that pulley wheel around and reconnect it. Uh, we, we try and clean those gears a lot. So uh, I did a system where we put a nut and bolt in there so I can extract it quicker than tapping the roll pin out each and every time. Uh, we just loosen the bolt and the nut and uh, I can take it right off and clean up our systems faster. Uh, I'm not telling you that you have to do this. This is just what we do at our facility. the motor forward towards the front of the pin setter and get the belt out of my way so I can move it freely. Alright, now let me see where this hole lines up. Get the persuader. Take this around, see if I can find. There it is. Oh. Just trying to align the hole on that shaft with this pulley wheel. It seems to be quite, there you go, quite an ordeal. Set up. I'm just taking one of the Brunswick 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, I don't know. Let me see if I can tell you how long it is. You can get whatever size you want that would fit properly. This one is it's like 
44 centimeters or 40 millimeters. And it is a, a 10 millimeter head on it, and I got a 10 millimeter lock nut. I'm going to go ahead and drop it straight down through the shaft, rotate it around to this side. The 40 set, 4 centimeters or 40 millimeters seems to be perfect for us because it can latch down and just have enough space to hold the pin in. And I have a lot of extra threads sticking out. There we go. Put the lock nut on this side. how you drop a tool. Alright, but I'm set up anyway to get this belt back on. I got it on the small pulley wheel first. I'm going to tip the motor to myself towards the front end where the bowlers stand. Just enough to get the belt on. Don't overstretch your spring on your table motor. And that should be it. I'm going to go get my wrench out of the bottom and then I'm going to start it and cycle it and see what happens. It's probably going to fix everything. Here's the, if that's all it was, place where the rolled pin goes into the pulley wheel on the table drive motor system. That uh, that rolled pin had sheared off in there, but we got it secured. Everything's back to normal operation.